Hey there, Iggy the Investing Iguana here. Today, I'm excited to share with you the secrets behind Q and AMP, M Dental Group's resilient growth. In this video, we'll dive deep into Q and AMP, M's latest earnings report and uncover the key factors driving their success. I'll break it down in simple terms so even if you're new to investing, you'll walk away with valuable insights. Plus, I've got a special tip at the end that could help you spot the next big winner in the healthcare sector. So, grab a snack, get comfortable, and let's explore how Q and AMP, M is smiling all the way to the bank. First off, let's look at the key numbers. The company managed to generate a total revenue of $182.7 million. This figure is noteworthy because it remained stable when compared to the revenue of the previous year. In the world of business, maintaining stability can sometimes be as significant as growth because it indicates resilience in the face of market fluctuations. Now, let's shift our focus to the net profit attributable to shareholders. There was a slight increase of 1.8%, bringing the total to $11.5 million. This increase, albeit small, is a positive sign. It shows that the company is not only generating revenue but also successfully translating it into profit for its shareholders. Lastly, we should consider the profit margins. They saw a minor improvement, moving from 6.2% to 6.3%. This increase in profit margin, even though it's a small one, is a good indicator. It suggests that the company is becoming more efficient at converting sales into actual profit. In conclusion, while the revenue remained flat, the company showed promising signs of growth in terms of net profit and profit margins. This paints a picture of a company that is holding steady in terms of revenue, while also making strides in profitability. Let's dissect the financial performance of Q and AMP M further. The primary healthcare segment was the main contributor to the company's revenue, generating a substantial $167.8 million. This accounts for a significant 92% of the total revenue. This high figure is indicative of a large volume of dental procedures such as teeth cleanings and fillings being performed, which are the primary services offered by this segment. However, it's important to note that revenue generation is only one side of the financial equation. The cost of sales, which includes all direct costs to produce the goods or services sold by the company, also plays a crucial role. In Q and AMP, M's case, the cost of sales was quite high, amounting to $131.5 million or 72% of the total revenue. This substantial cost significantly reduces the net income, which is a key indicator of the company's profitability. Among the various expenses incurred by the company, depreciation and AMP amortization stood out as the largest, coming in at $17.8 million. This expense is associated with the wear and tear of physical assets like dental chairs and equipment. These assets are essential for the company's operations but come with a high price tag. The depreciation over time is a significant cost that the company has to bear. While the primary healthcare segment was a major revenue generator for Q and AMP, M, the company also had to contend with high costs, particularly in terms of depreciation and AMP amortization. Understanding these financial dynamics is key to assessing the company's overall performance and future prospects. Let's evaluate how Q and AMP M performed in relation to market expectations. The company's revenue surpassed analyst estimates by 3.5%. This is a commendable achievement as it indicates that the company's financial performance was stronger than what market experts had predicted. It suggests that Q and AMP M strategies and operations were effective in generating more revenue than anticipated, which is a positive sign for any business. However, it's not all rosy. The earnings per share, EPS, a key indicator of a company's profitability, fell short of expectations by 2.4%. EPS is crucial because it gives investors an idea of the company's profitability on a per share basis, and it's often used to compare the profitability of different companies. A lower-than-expected EPS can be a cause for concern as it might indicate that the company's profitability isn't as strong as expected. In the world of business, it's common to have wins and losses. In Q and AMP, M's case, they managed to exceed expectations in terms of revenue but fell short on earnings per share. 
This mixed performance suggests that while the company has been successful in some areas, there's still room for improvement in others. It's a reminder that in business, just as in life, you win some, you lose some. But every experience, whether positive or negative, is an opportunity to learn, grow, and improve. So, for Q and AMP, M, this could be a chance to analyze their strategies and make necessary adjustments to improve future performance. As we gaze into the future, it's important to consider the projected growth of Q and AMP, M. Analysts have predicted that the company's revenue will increase at an average annual rate of 3.4% over the next three years. This growth rate, while seemingly modest, is a positive sign as it indicates that the company is expected to continue expanding its operations and increasing its revenue in the coming years. However, it's crucial to put this growth rate into perspective. When compared to the forecasted growth of the overall healthcare industry in Asia, which stands at a robust 13%, Q and AMP, M's projected growth appears to be lagging. This discrepancy suggests that while Q and AMP, M is growing, it's not keeping pace with the rapid expansion of the broader healthcare industry in the region. This could be due to a variety of factors. Perhaps Q and AMP, M is operating in a particularly competitive segment of the market, or maybe there are specific challenges that the company is facing which are hindering its growth. It's also possible that the company is adopting a more conservative growth strategy, focusing on maintaining stability and profitability rather than pursuing aggressive expansion. Regardless of the reasons, this slower growth rate isn't necessarily a cause for alarm. Every company has its own unique circumstances and strategies, and what works for one may not work for another. What's important is that Q and AMP M continues to grow and generate profits, even if at a slower pace than the industry average. In my assessment, Q and AMP M is performing reasonably well, but there's room for improvement. The company is maintaining a steady course, but it hasn't achieved any standout successes that would set it apart from its competitors. One of the key areas Q and AMP M needs to focus on is improving its profit margins. Profit margins are a critical measure of a company's profitability and financial health. A higher profit margin indicates a more profitable company that has better control over its costs compared to its competitors. Therefore, Q and AMP M should explore strategies to increase its revenue while keeping its costs under control. This could involve optimizing operational processes, renegotiating supplier contracts, or investing in technologies that can improve efficiency. Another crucial aspect is expense management. Every dollar saved in expenses directly contributes to the bottom line. Therefore, Q and AMP M should scrutinize its expenses and identify areas where costs can be reduced without compromising on the quality of services. This could involve streamlining operations, reducing waste, or improving resource allocation. The dental industry is highly competitive, with numerous players vying for market share. In such an environment, differentiation is key. Q and AMP, M needs to identify what sets it apart from its competitors and leverage that to its advantage. This could be anything from specialized services, superior customer service, innovative practices, or even a strong brand reputation. Lastly, providing top-notch patient care is non-negotiable. In the healthcare industry, the quality of care directly impacts a company's reputation and patient loyalty. Therefore, Q and AMP M should continually strive to improve its patient care standards. This could involve investing in staff training, adopting the latest medical technologies, or even seeking feedback from patients to identify areas of improvement. Now, I promised you a special tip to help you spot the next big winner in the healthcare sector, so here it is. When you're analyzing a company like Q and AMP, M, don't just focus on the headline numbers. Dive deeper into the segments that are driving growth. In Q and AMP, M's case, it's their primary healthcare segment that's really stealing the show. This tells us that despite challenges, there's still strong demand for essential healthcare services. So, when you're looking for your next healthcare investment, pay attention to companies that have a solid foundation in primary care. They may not be the flashiest players in the market, but they often have a loyal customer base and steady cash flows. 
Of course, you'll still need to consider other factors like valuation, debt levels, and competitive advantages. But by starting with companies that have a strong core business, you'll be better positioned to find those hidden gems that can deliver resilient returns over the long run. All right, let's wrap this up. Today, we learned that Q and AMP, M Dental Group's resilient growth is powered by their strong primary healthcare segment, strategic cost management, and ambitious expansion plans. While they face challenges like rising expenses and tough competition, Q and AMP, M is proving that with the right strategy, you can still come out on top. As always, remember to do your own research before making any investment decisions. If you found this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Investing Iguana channel for more insights on how to navigate the wild world of finance. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover, just drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep investing wisely.